stuff there. But, um... All right, well, is there anything in Shakespeare that has any merit for you at all? That, that anything... Is there anything... Good? Obviously, I never met an INTJ that likes Romeo and Juliet, but, like, Hamlet, something? No, not Hamlet. Okay. Um, uh, I, th I thought that was stupid. Um... <laughs> okay? I liked Macbeth. <laughs> you, of course you like Macbeth. But Macbeth. The darkest, dreariest, bloodiest of all of Shakespeare's plays. M Macbeth was... The goth, the most gothic, black, <laughs> everyone wears black. The whole thing practically takes place at night. Yeah, of course. <laughs> that's the one no, that you like. M Macbeth was enjoyable. I mean, it was... I like it too, It I was the, um, the... The, um... It's like the H.P. Lovecraft of... <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was <laughs> Shakespeare's plays. It was enjoyable. I, I liked it. Of war. course it did, you know. Lady uh, McCuthulu. Okay. Oh, yeah. I liked, I liked the fact that, like, like the psychology in it, that, um... Sure. You know, um, she, she's, like, bragging about how she kills the the king or whatever. It's like, oh, yeah, I got blood on my hands and everything. And then the guilt just drives her crazy to the point where she's, like, washing her hands. Yeah, she becomes obsessed with compulsive. Yeah, and, um... And when they, they tell him that, like, the, um, don't fear until the forest comes, and then you see that the enemy military, they use trees as, like, their camouflage, and and the forest came, and then when Macduff, like, M Macbeth's basically, like, bragging, like, oh, yeah, I have a charmed life, you know, no man of woman born can harm Macbeth and everything, you know, thinking he's, he's one. And then Macduff is like, you know, well, you tell your charmer, I, I remember this, actually, he's like, you tell your charmer that Macduff was ripped from his, mo his mother's womb untimely. And Macbeth is like, cursed be the tongue that tells me this. Like, you're basically like, the, the Weir sisters trolled him, basically. Yes. And that, that's So, of awesome. course, you like it, isn't it? Right, yes, there's trolling yes, going on. There's, it was amazing. I, I, I thought, like, wow, that was... Macbeth was actually something right. that was very well thought out. Even though it, it probably plagiarized Antigone, uh, still... It was still, like, it was still a good story, you know? And okay, I, I I'll give it. you that a little. Yeah. All right, you know, that's great, because, you know, my favorite, um, one of my favorite quotes from, or lines, actually, from Shakespeare is in Macbeth, and it's the line Macbeth says after discovering the death of Lady Macbeth, mm -hmm. which is the great existential, um, uh, I consider it the great existential saying he says about tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow. Um, right, that yeah. That comes um, up in, in scene five. Yeah, uh, scene now, five, act five. Now, one thing I want to mention when I was reading Macbeth, um, I only understood the footnotes. <laughs> I, I didn't... Okay. When I read the poems, I didn't get any of it. All right. Well, I, I, I had to read the footnotes in well, order to um, understand what it was saying. All right, well, let me... Um, okay, I can call it up. Hold on. Well, let me give it a try at this. Are you going to read it? You yeah, gotta, sure. I'll okay, I'll, wait. I'll, let I'll me make a, sure I got it. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, so go see. ahead. So this is from Macbeth, yep. Act 5, uh, Scene 5. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this pity pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time, and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way of dusty death. Out, out, breathe candle, less but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage, and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. Okay, that that's great and everything, but what does that mean? <laughs> uh, I mean, what, okay. what, what is that? What is that bullshit? Tell me. Okay. I mean, well, first, I have to sort of overcome your reading of it, which, which was um, this classic INTJ um, reading that I, yep. I, I've never heard Shakespeare, you know, read. It's like, I don't know, like from the bottom of the ocean. I don't, even, I don't know if I can use the proper metaphor to describe that. Okay, so first of all, before we get into it, I have to read it correctly. <laughs> right, so this is how it's read. This is how you read it. Okay. Uh, so, okay, let me, let, me, okay. let me... This is how it's supposed to go. This is the NF version. Of course. Okay. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty place... Pay, creeps in this petty pace from day to day to the last syllable of recorded time. And all of our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out, out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow, a poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage and then is heard no more. It is a tale told by an idiot, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. 
Yay! Yeah, thank you. You're well, welcome. 10F. That, yeah, that's the best I'll get from me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, please, I'll, I'll take it. All right, what it's talking about is sort of the, what I, I always relate to Albert Camus and the myth of Sisyphus and the total pointlessness of life. The life that you do all these things in life to try to make something happen, some kind of goal, some kind of great thing, but really you, you arrive nowhere. Right. And that life is a miserable, you know, nothing. It's kind of like the way well, the way Katarina talks in I Heart Huckabees, mm -hmm. you know, to the to the two guys. Um, so basically, all right, so break it down. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in uh, from day to day. So in other words, we keep moving into the future, but a pointless future, mm -hmm. a future of no hope, no happiness, no growth, no nothing. We think we're moving into this future. If something's going to happen, we're not. We're moving into like, right. we might as well just be going around in a lateral circle. Okay, to the last syllable of recorded time. So it never gets any better. We just keep going that way. And all of our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. So we think that somehow the past has pointed us towards this progress, that we're heading in the right direction. But all they've done is, whether it's philosophy or science or literature, all they've done is pointed us into the abyss. You think like, oh, all this past wisdom is leading us to this utopia, this great place, this knowledge, this way. It's not. It's leading us into nothing. Okay, you can't count on it at all because the end result is a total pointless waste. So all the past wisdom isn't leading us into anywhere. Okay, life is but a walking shaft. Out, out, brief candle. So, so first of all, what he's saying is, shut up, be quiet. You're pointless. You're useless. Literature, philosophy, myth, science. You've done nothing. Shut up. Okay, life's but a walking shadow. Um, that means that you know life looks like it's it's full, it's material, it's real. The life has substance. It's not. It's like the shadows. It has no substance. Mm -hmm. It looks like it does. The way a shadow looks like an object, but really it's empty. The way a shadow right, is okay. empty. Okay. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. That's interesting because he's in the plays. But what he means by that is that life is false. It's phony. When a player goes on the stage, he's at pretending to be something, acting something, pretending to be a king, a prince, Macbeth, but really he's not. None of those things are true. And not only that, life isn't even good at doing that. Mm -hmm. So not only is your life fake, it's not even good at being fake. Okay? Wow. Yeah, it's depressing. Yeah, and, that, that, and, that, 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 I like that. That's and, interesting. <laughs> of course, the darkest, dreariest, most miserable. No, and then is heard, it, it is intriguing. I mean, yeah. it's, it's interesting. And then is heard no more. That means that, you know, you die and then it's over. It's, and so what is life? It's a tale told by an idiot, okay? Meaning it's you know, that life is something that's absurd and stupid and it's coming out of the stupid. It is not rational, okay? Full of sound and fury. So it sounds like there's a lot. You know, life makes a lot of noise as if this is important, but it signifies nothing. It signifies nothing. In, in reality, it's very postmodern too. Yes. It has no meaning. So hmm. there it is. That's what that means. Wow. Oh, that... that I never would have figured that out. Um, so I thank you for that because, wow. But, um, hmm, yeah, no, I, I, that, that is interesting. I do enjoy that, yeah. Great. And that, that's one of the reasons why Macbeth is probably one of my favorites of Shakespeare. So I'm glad. My only favorite of Shakespeare. Some NF and NT can come together in the most darkest and dreariest of Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, yeah. Um, and also, too, like, you're mentioning Shakespeare was an INFP. Maybe. I, I, I agree. I think he was because... Because also, too, because that right there, it's it's not very direct. <laughs> no. No. No, that's it, true it about of, all of Shakespeare. He's kind of all over the place. Like, and, he's definitely that, a P. Yeah, so he's definitely a P. So he's either an ENFP or an INFP. And, and he's, he's an, not an ENFP. I, I think he's an I. Yes, because it's dreary. Because it's dreary, and because he's... I don't think an ENFP would spend this much time writing this many poems. <laughs> well, not for no reason. Maybe to a woman, but that's about maybe, it. Maybe, but I don't think an ENFP would have that many. I mean, I, even an ENFP, I don't think would have that many women. I think that they would eventually sell down someone. Oh, well, we can hope. But yes, yeah, so I, I have faith in you. Okay, I, you I, have, I have faith in you. I mean, that's... An INTJ is having faith in you. I know. See, that's what NFP yes, does. That, that, <laughs> wow. All right, on that note, we're way over but, time. Um, oh, we're done? Yeah, we're way uh, done. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Alex. Yep. Have a good one. Yeah.